Welcome to the North East Football Show. We've travelled through to Sunderland this week. You'd be happy about that? Yeah. Hey okay. lads, you alright? Where, where are you getting that from? It's alright, isn't it? I told you what it was like last week. Les, we need to be having words about this. Roll titles. <laughs> As you can see by the smile on Les's face, we're actually in Sunderland, his hometown. You'd be happy about that? I am, and there's one or two ex-Sunderland legends here today, as well as a Middlesbrough one, which I'm not so keen on speaking to, because no doubt he'll have a, <laughs> a particular view on last week's game. And Steve? Yeah, I'm sure we can find a Newcastle legend as well here. It's, uh, it's a great facility, and uh, I've got somebody lined up. I bet you have. So last week, obviously... I was off with the old crutches. I was gutted I missed the first show with you. Um, how did it go? It went really well. It was good to be at Dunstan. Um, as you know, it's sometimes difficult to interview people that you know really well, but uh, it was there. Nice build up to the FA Cup game, which we drew threes each and Fantastic. replay on Wednesday. But no, Les was taking a bit of, uh, taking a bit of the mick out of you, but it you know, went really well. Well, as you'll know, this show, that's all we do, take the mick out of each other. So you'll, you'll be joining in with that, I'm sure, through the season. But if you know everything, where's Les now? Les is now with Ian from Calsonic. So Ian, I got the call this week off Gary Bennett, who tells me yeah. about today's event, and he mentioned the company, and I have to say I ended up ringing him back saying, what is this company, I didn't know anything about it, so what is your involvement? In- what we are is an automotive supplier, and we've been here as long as Nissan, we're one of Nissan's key suppliers, mm-hmm. uh, but we aren't very well known, we, you know, we're, we're quite proud of, of, of our involvement in the North East, we have a lot of uh, really good staff within within the CK plant, uh, but people hadn't really heard of us. Mm-hmm. So we've been doing a lot of work on connecting with the community, uh, various different projects, and with football and sport being such a high profile uh, activity within the North East, it was a great opportunity for us to share and put something a little bit back into the community as a business by arranging this 4D activity with Back to Basics. We've arranged it for our staff really as, as, a, as a big thank you for a, a great uh, group of staff who who made us what we are really and, and taken us to where we are and we wanted to have give them an opportunity to bring their children along and relations and, and people and share that with us. We're only showing in the North East so I need to ask you first of all who do you support? I'm a Newcastle fan. Your personal views and don't pick on Sun and we'll just have Newcastle views. Well, I think from a Newcastle point of view, as anybody would be, gutted to not be playing Premier League football. Mm-hmm. I, I think we've, we're looking to, to build again, to, to come back, which we need to do because with a club that size, it'd be fantastic to have three North East teams in the, in the Premier League playing more than one derby game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this year, I'm not sure. I think we, we started poorly. We haven't really played well yet, but we've managed to get some results. So I'm hoping it's a sign of positive things to come. Get my fingers crossed. You're taking on apprentices at the moment? Yes, we have some opportunities for maintenance apprentices, advanced maintenance apprentices and manufacturing apprentices within the plant. Uh, again, good opportunities. We like to bring in local talent and give them an opportunity to develop. So, yes, we have opportun- those opportunities. Brilliant. Well, what we'll do, we'll put the website along the bottom of the screen and anybody who's interested, just visit that site. Well, his second interview, he's had one Newcastle legend already and he's getting another one. Steve's now with Steve Howie. So Steve, two defeats and now two wins for Newcastle United. Six points in the bag, up to seventh place. Uh, well, how do you think the start's gone with Newcastle United? Look, I, th- I think for me I, it was always going to be difficult. I mean, that league's difficult anyway. It's, it's so hard, you know, games week in, week out, two, three games a week, really. I didn't have any problems with the squad. I think the squad's very good, it's very strong, good players. Obviously the manager goes without saying, but when you play these teams, you need to match them. You know, for their for their like kind of fight and and them really want to try and upset the team. And I think the first two games, the lads were kind of maybe a little bit shocked at at kind of the standard as well. They seemed to get the grips of that. Not a great performance by any means in the in the two last games, but the two wins and and two wins and just getting wins in this league is, is so so important. Initially, when you think and it's a it's a poor start of the season, it's not bad. Look where the team is. He's been called the Tinker Man already. He's made a few changes, Rafa Benitez. Lascelles gets the captaincy, then he's dropped. Dummett gets the captaincy, then he's dropped. Hasn't really found his best back four yet. What's your views early on? 
I like Clark. I like that Henley. Um, you know, good sol solid players. Um, I think possibly it will be in Bemba and Lascelles. Um, you know, as you said, Lascelles gets it, then drop, then dumb it, drop. I mean, you don't want the captaincy, to be quite honest. But um, he's letting players know very early, look, if you don't perform, you're out. Because the squad's big enough and it's good enough for him to do that. Um, so, lads, know if you don't perform, you'll not be playing the next game. Dwight Gale handed the number nine shirt. It's a burden at the best of times for some players, but he seems to have handled the pressure quite well. Four goals in four games. Yeah, I mean, I thought the lad would score goals. I said that at the, at the start. You know, f for me, I thought him and Richie were very, very good signings. Two very good players. You know, he's played in the Premier League. He scored goals in the Premier League. I think he'd probably even get better and get more chances when Mitrovic comes back. Apparently, a slim line Mitrovic. If that happens, then then absolutely great. You know, yes, the number nine. It's a, it's a big, big number. The number nines that Newcastle have had in the past. You, you've just got to score goals. And the way he started, he's got four already. That's a very good start for the lad. Keeping Rafa Benitez was the biggest signing of the season, though. We have got some uh, some more players in and out, we're led to believe, through the summer. Who do you see coming in in the, uh, the transfer window? I feel as though because of uh, Rafa Benitez, because of his name, because of Newcastle as a club, you know, the fans, the stadium, um, you can attract some big, big players. So it wouldn't surprise me who he gets in from now till, you know, the deadline. Newcastle's next league fixture is against Brighton on Saturday. Chris Hutton coming back to St James's Park. Big, big game. How do you see that going? Brighton, good players, good manager. You know, I think it was disappointing for Chris and, and a, lot, a lot of people were surprised at how things kind of turned out in Newcastle because I thought he, he did an excellent job. Um, very unlucky last season to miss out. They've obviously got the vast majority of players still. Um, he's added to his squad as well. They'll be a difficult team. You know, I've seen them a uh, little bits and pieces uh, this season and again, look solid, dangerous up front, quick in attack. Um, and I think that's what you know, Newcastle's got to be careful of. I think a couple of times this season we we have been caught out in a situation where on the counter attack and kind of not showing up at the back. But they'll be a difficult team, and I think with it being you know on the TV, a lot of fans will get to see what Newcastle's like and how how it is the situation up up here now. Um, and if you can get a good win against them, that makes a statement. Because make no doubt about it, I think uh, Brighton will be there or thereabouts. <laughs> And now for the crossbar challenge, with our own Les taking on some of the North East's finest legends. Dean Gordon, back to basics, ex Middlesbrough and Crystal Palace. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Snicko! No, no, you're not having that. Yes. Snicko, I've got that two! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> I am Julio Arca, representing Bad to Basics Coaching. <laughs> That's the one, the first one. <laughs> my name's Gary Bennett, Bad to Basics Coaching. If I miss, my name's Dean Gordon. Les Langley, North East Football Show, and I haven't practiced once. <laughs> well, we've had the European Championships, we've had Rio, we've had the start of the Premier League, now we've had Les winning the crossbar challenge. Les, talk us through it. Well, as you know, Steve, obviously I came straight into this, didn't warm up. And, you know, you, you've seen two great strikes and showed the professionals how it should be done. Highlight of your career? Well, I always thought that I should have been a professional footballer anyway, so hopefully that's... Obviously, I'm, I'm young enough still to do it, so yeah, it could be a highlight. 
great stuff. Coming up after the break on the North East Football Show, Les and Gary Bennett and a list of excuses of why they lost the We Are Tees derby. We've sent Anthony to Morpeth. 